Welcome to Football Forecast 91. With Las Vegas handicappers, Dennis Tobler. Jeff Allen. And Professor Gordon Jones. And now, here's your host, Bob Elder. Well, hi, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Football Forecast 91, the show that each week right here on this station gives you the insights and the information you need to help better handicap and analyze the college and professional games. Hi, I'm your host, Bob Elder. Well, week number one is in the books, and I hope you did as good as our resident handicappers, Dennis Tober, Professor Gordon Jones, and Jeff Allen. Right now with me is a man I know had a great week, Dennis Tobler. Well, thank you, Bob. Went 9-1 and one on my 900 number last week. Let's take it right from the start. Let's go to the first game. Notre Dame, Indiana, big college game. How do you see it? Well, this certainly is a big college rivalry. Will draw a lot of national attention. Notre Dame lost five of their starting tacklers on defense this year, and they lost seven out of ten of their defensive backs from their defense last year. And you throw that together with all the disruptions that Lou Holtz has had in his camp this week, and it looks to me like Notre Dame may be thinking about something other than football. I'm leaning towards Indiana in this spot. Indiana's been to four bowl games and four winning seasons in the last five years. They return all but one of their defensive starters, while Coach Mallory does a very good job on defense. The 17 and a half points here are just too many. Let's go with Indiana. And I want to mention to all you viewers out there, there's one way to get these selections that I do release on the TV show and every day of the week. That's to call my 900 sports line at 1-900-454-6600, only $20 a call. You can get a new selection each and every day of the week. Be sure and make that call. All right, I know I'm going to call as soon as the show is over. Dennis, we're going to come back to you in just a little while, and you've got three more big picks for us. That's right, Bob. All righty. Right now it's time to go to a man who had... 2-0 record last week in his first week with Football Forecast 91, and that's a Professor Gordon Jones. Let's go out to the professor right now, and first off, we got to say, Prof, congratulations on a great week. Bob, thanks very much. And let's try for a little deja vu as we move into the second week of the season here on Football Forecast 91. Now, a week ago, when we hit the college game and the pro game, we went for the dominating dynasty type clubs that for some reason win 80, 85% against the spread if they give a lot of points the very first week. And I think we've got another play like that today. It's Michigan going to Boston College. Now, no bigger dynasty really in American football than Michigan. They're giving 24 points. They could have that by halftime today. On the rush, they're about four yards per carry stronger than Boston College. On the record, they were 9-3 and three last year. Most of the guys are back, and they lost those three games by only six points while Boston College was a total loser. So it ought to be the dynasty play for maybe three in a row with Michigan giving away those 24 at Boston College. Now, over in the pros, a different kind of a game. We've got Seattle at home against the New York Jets. So the Jets were a lucky winner at home over a weak Tampa Bay team. They played about even. On the other hand, the Seattle club, a very unlucky loser down at New Orleans, they outplayed them a 3-2 two ratio. So playing in a much tougher division, the, the Eastern division of the uh, AFC being so weak and the Western about seven points stronger, it looks today as if the Seattle Seahawks should have about 11 to 15 points to spare over the New York Jets. Back to you, Bob. Well, thank you very much, Professor. We'll see you next week with some more picks. When we come back, Dennis Tolber is going to give us one college and two pro picks. Stay with us, everyone. Don't be lost in the dark when it comes to football games. Sports Schedule Unlimited presents the best sports schedule in the USA. Call now for your free schedule at 1-800-877-7774, extension 1364. When you need the scores and only the scores, there's only one number to call, 1-900-420-2400. No commercials, no hype, no bogus claims, just the scores, 1-900-420-2400. Every game on the board, college and pro, updated every five minutes. 1-900-420-2400. Remember, for all the latest scores, 24 hours a day, the one number you need to know is 1-900-420-2400. Last week, Points Plus released these point spread winners. 
Penn State minus two and a half, Florida State minus 14, Vikings plus two, Colts minus nine, Steelers minus five, Phoenix plus seven, and the Giants minus one and a half. If you called Points Plus last week, you would be a winner right now. Why are you missing out? Week after week, Points Plus is your number one source for point spread winners in college and pro football. Join the winners from last week, this week. Pick up your phone and call now. Last minute changes, injuries, weather, trends. Find out how they'll affect the point spread. Call Points Plus at 1-900-446-9800. And you'll hear not only who is going to beat the spread, but why. Our success rate is unrivaled by anyone else in the industry. And this week, we've got a Points Plus winner for you. Don't miss out. Be that winner. We've got the results you want, and we've got it now. Call for that winner. Pick up the phone and start winning. This week's Points Spread winners are Vikings and Falcons, Steelers taking on the Bills, Broncos at the Raiders, the Rams taking on the Giants. Points Spread winners, 1-800-446-9800. Welcome back to Football Forecast 91, everyone. Time now to take a look at one of the top college games this week with Dennis Tobler. And Dennis, I say it's a top college game because I really like this one for a lot of reasons. It's Wyoming at Colorado. Colorado, a 23-point pick. How do you see it? And, Bob, it's also the ESPN television game on Saturday, so it is an important contest. All the time on the TV show, I talk about my scouting reports and information and information here on the Strip in Las Vegas. That's what wins football games. While other people toil over their computers and the statistics in the newspapers, you can throw that out. And the reason I love this game this week is because I personally scouted these two teams, Bob. <laughs> I was in Laramie and Boulder two weeks ago watching these two teams get ready for this matchup. Wyoming is completely outmatched in this one. The Colorado Buffaloes are used to being at the top of the rankings, and I look for them to be up there again at the season's end this year. They're favored by 23 points. That should have very little to do with the outcome of this matchup. While I was in Boulder, Coach McCartney watched his first string defense give up a 60-yard run to the second team offense, and you would think he had just lost the Orange Bowl in the battle for number one. He reamed them up one side and reamed them down another and said if he ever seen that happen again, there'd be personnel changes. Now, that's my idea of information that comes in, and you can bet that Colorado's going to shut Wyoming down in this matchup. Watch the Buffaloes run rampant, lay the 23, and ride with Colorado. We've been together a long time, and you really rely on the scouting reports. Well, yes, Bob. Scouting reports are the whole, whole ball of wax when it comes to handicapping. You must know what the team's... Uh, morale state is, you must know what their injury situation is, and you must know how they've prepared or not prepared for the ball games. When I used to play football, we never asked how the opposing team did on natural turf. We always found out what the offense and the defense did against each other, and it's the same way when it comes to handicapping. This week, I want everyone to capitalize on my latest information. I'm going to release my play of the week, my game of the week, absolutely free to everyone calling my office this week. This is the top scouting information in the country. You can receive it free this week only by calling 1-800-TSI-PICK. Let's go now to the pros. We're a team that's very disappointing in Los Angeles. They've actually got two, but one of them in particular, the Los Angeles Rams start the first of three 
terrible road trips for them. They're going to go to play the New York Giants. Giants are favored. How do you see this one? Well, coming off the Monday night matchup, the Giants look to be in pretty good shape with Phil Simms on the bench and Hostetler at the controls, and their defense is just as tough as ever. If they would have got some of those holding calls uh, called for them against the 49ers in that game, the outcome would have been much different in the Giants' favor. On the other side, what can we say about, about the Rams? I mean, they are in such complete disarray. And I look back to the point when they got rid of Fritz Schirmer a while back. Mm -hmm. I think maybe that has a lot to do with the morale of this team and no confidence on the defensive side of the ball. I think the Giants are going to cover this one big. I can't see the Rams making any headway from their game last weekend. It looks to me like the Giants. All right, we've got another team that played on Monday night, the loser. San Francisco in their home opener up in the Bay Area, and they're going to take on a team with a new quarterback and a lot of enthusiasm, the San Diego Chargers and John Freeze. How do you see this one? Well, we were talking earlier before the show started. In my opinion, Jack Kemp is just as good a quarterback as Dave Craig, who's out for Seattle, so I don't think the quarterback situation there will amount to a hill of beans. Also, as I said on last week's show, San Diego has no quarterbacks, so I doubt they're able to score. They put in a lucky one late last week to get a push out of the game, but I don't think they'll be able to do that against the 49ers. And talk about incentive. The 49ers lost their first away game in over 22 contests, so do you think they may come back with a little bit of intensity? I do think they will. I think this one's a blowout from the word go. I know I'm picking a lot of favorites here, but it looks like the scenario is set for an absolute de demolition of the Charger team here. Look for San Francisco to really put it on them because I think they want to get back in the win column in the worst way. Steve Young going to run rampant all over him, huh? Well, I think so. And I, if you've seen last week's game, Pittsburgh ran at will against San Diego. I can't imagine what the 49ers are going to do with their deep receivers and that running game up the middle. Now, before I let you go, I got to talk about that 900 number of yours because last week you were 9-1. and one. Yes, 9-1 and one of my 900 number last week. 1-900-454-6600. Call it each and every day of the week as I have new selections on there. I have my top three college and top three pro on the weekend. So don't miss out. Write it down. 1-900-454-6600. Only $20 a call. It's going to be tough to improve on 9-1, and one, but if anybody can do it, it's you. Dennis. We're shooting for 10-0. and 0. All right. We'll see you next week. Right now, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll be right here with Las Vegas handicapper Jeff Allen. Stay with us, everyone. Don't be lost in the dark when it comes to football games. Sports Schedule Unlimited presents the best sports schedule in the USA. Call now for your free schedule at 1-800-877-7774, extension 1364. Last week, Points Plus released these point spread winners. Penn State minus 2.5, Florida State minus 14, Vikings plus 2, Colts minus 9, Steelers minus 5, Phoenix plus 7, and the Giants minus 1.5. If you called Points Plus last week, you would be a winner right now. Why are you missing out? Week after week, Points Plus is your number one source for point spread winners in college and pro football. Join the winners from last week, this week. Pick up your phone and call now. Last minute changes, injuries, weather, trends. Find out how they'll affect the point spread. Call Points Plus at 1-900-446-9800. And you'll hear not only who is going to beat the spread, but why. Our success rate is unrivaled by anyone else in the industry. And this week, we've got a Points Plus winner for you. Don't miss out. Be that winner. We've got the results you want, and we've got it now. Call for that winner. Pick up the phone and start winning. This week's Points Spread winners are, on Sunday, Oilers at the Bengals. And Monday Night Football, it's the Redskins taking on the Cowboys. Call for your Points Spread winner. 1-800-446-9800.
Hi, I'm Jeff Allen, and my executive club is on fire. Seven and two last week, and this week is even bigger. I've uncovered critical information on a 10-star college blowout and a 20-star super lock winner. Get both guaranteed winners in the entire weekend absolutely free. Call 1-800-638-3411. That's two super lock winners in the entire weekend absolutely free. Call now. Welcome back to Football Forecast 91, everyone. Joining me now is a man who made an impressive debut last week on our show, and that is Las Vegas handicapper Jeff Allen. Jeff, welcome. It's good to be here. Now, last week, you told us to join you in a 9-0 opening week. I know you had a good week. How good was it? Well, we didn't quite make it 9-0 for the week. Finished up at 7-2. If it wasn't for a couple of late touchdowns on Sunday, we would have had that perfect 9-0 weekend. Well, it's not a bad way to start. Let's start our first game with you today. The first analysis is going to be an NFC matchup. We've got two teams coming off big road victories. That'll be Phoenix traveling to Philadelphia. The Eagles are a six-and-a-half-point pick. How do you see this one? Well, of course, the big news out of Philly this week is the injury to star quarterback Randall Cunningham. He took a hit to the left knee and suffered two torn ligaments. He's probably out for the entire season. The other big story is Joe Bugle and the Phoenix Cardinals. They went 4-0 in the preseason, and they went to L.A. and whipped the Rams 24-14. The Cardinals played the Eagles very tough last year as they split a pair of 23-21 decisions, and last season Phoenix overcame a 14-0 deficit at Veterans Stadium to beat Philadelphia straight up as a 13.5 point underdog. The Cardinals rushed the ball for 145 yards in that game, and Coach Joe Bugle has them fired up right now. He's got the big offensive line that can control the line of scrimmage. I'll go with Phoenix plus the six and a half points. This could be the year of the backup quarterback. We've got two in this game. Tom Tupa is quarterbacking Phoenix, and of course, Jim McMahon with the Eagles. How do you see this matchup? Jim McMahon has a lot more experience than Tom Tupa. But he's just not the same quarterback he was when he led the Bears to the Super Bowl in 1986. He threw two interceptions last Sunday against Green Bay, and it should have been three on that tip touchdown to Byers. Tupa had a solid effort against the Rams last week, completing 10 out of 18 and no interceptions. They may not win the game, but the six and a half points will definitely get the money. Up next, a big NFC Central matchup. The Chicago Bears, now they won at home just barely over Minnesota. They're going to be traveling down to Tampa Bay, who lost their opener in New York. Now the Bears have been established as a three-point pick. How do you see this one? The Bears crushed the Bucks last season, winning both easily by a combined score of 53-19. to They won in Tampa by 20 points, and they controlled the ball for 38 minutes and ran for 187 yards. The ferocious Bear defense harassed Testaverde all day long, forcing five interceptions and sacked him three times. Looks like more of the same this Sunday, as Chicago will run all over Tampa Bay's defense, ranked 25th in the league last year against the run. You can expect a big day from all pro running back Neil Anderson, who caught six passes last week as the Bears came out throwing our first down a little bit more than usual. We also have a big mismatch in the coaching department. While Mike Dicker runs a steady ship in Chicago, Tampa Bay is just getting acquainted with new head coach Richard Williamson and new defensive coordinator Floyd Peters. Peters has implemented the 4-3 defense here, and the players are still adjusting. There is no way they can stop the Bears. Take the Bears and lay the three. Now, it seems to me the Bears are getting a pretty good break from Vegas. Last year, they were a five-and-a-half-point favorite. This year, just three. That's right. There is really some good value in this line. And I want to mention Chicago's incredible record over the last five seasons. With the win over Minnesota last week, they are now 19-2 in September. And this Sunday, they'll make it 20-2. and The Bears win it easy. Jeff, your 800 service is off to another fast start. I know you've got some great games this weekend. Tell us about them. This will be one of the biggest weeks of the entire season. I've already zoomed in on six college winners and five NFL blowouts. I've also uncovered some solid inside information on a 10-star college lock and a 20-star super NFL lock winner. You can get both winners along with the entire weekend absolutely free. Call 1-800-638-3411. That's a super college lock and a super pro lock plus the entire weekend absolutely free. Call right now. 1-800-638-3411. Our final NFL game is an AFC West rivalry, a good one. Denver at Los Angeles. The Raiders are a four-and-a-half-point pick. How do you see this one? 
The Raiders have won the last three games in this series, both straight up and against the spread. The Raiders are also very tough in the L.A. Coliseum, going 13-3 and at home the last two seasons. This is their home opener, and it sets up to be a very emotional situation for the Raiders. They were thoroughly embarrassed last week in Houston as they got blown out 47-17. to On the other hand, Denver scored 45 points at home in a route over Cincinnati. So what you have is a good team coming off a poor game and a poor team coming off a great effort. The good team will win this week, and I'm sure Archell started working on this game plan on the ride back from Houston. He's going to take advantage of his offensive line. They outweigh the Broncos' line by an average of 30 points per man. They'll open up some big holes for their running backs, and the Raiders will win it and cover. Quickly, quarterback Jay Schrader had a bad game against the Oilers. No getting around it. Do you see him improving this week? Well, Jay Schrader plays well in this situation. The running game will be effective, and that will take the pressure off. He'll have some time in the pocket to pick out his receivers. It looks like a 15 out of 20 day, 200 yards passing for Jay Schrader, and the Raiders are going to win it by 10. All righty. We're going to take a break right now. When we come back, you're going to get Jeff Allen's TV Games of the Week for college and pro. Stay with us, everyone. We'll be right back with Football Forecast 91. Hi, I'm Las Vegas handicapper Jeff Allen, the number one TV game handicapper in the country. I specialize in TV winners for you each and every week. Call my TV hotline at 1-900-903-2224, and for only $10, you'll receive with complete analysis the winner of every TV game this week. That's 1-900-903-2224. 